Okay, here we are again, playing Astrox, Hostile Space Excavation, and the last time, I told you I was going to upgrade my ship before we went out and fought some more pirates, and I have done just that. My ship now has four uh, medium lasers, a couple of them have been upgraded using that recipe that I talked about that I found from the NPC, so they have a little bit more damage. And I've got two regular medium lasers, and I've got my shield booster, and my shields are still on. So, um... Oh, and I'm also in a much bigger ship. I'm also in the, um, what's it called? I'm in the uh, Corvette now, and I've moved over to the next system. I'm in System Telhen, which is System 3. Um, so there's still a lot bigger ships I could buy. As of right now, I only have 454 space bucks, so I can't buy these big battle cruisers or anything, but I can see that in my future. It doesn't take that long to make money in this game. I could actually make all that much money in this newbie system if I wanted to put my mind to it, but I don't want to. I want to see what it looks like as we progress. See if there's anything else interesting we can find out. I also have noticed or learned about the university. Um, you can buy skill books which uh, unlock skills so that you can use your um, when you level up you can um, increase your abilities with these things. So, and it takes, you know, every time you level up, you can buy one of these skill books and get some new special goodies. So, now we're going to head off and we're going to clear out this system. The baddies in this system are a little tougher. They weren't that tough. When I first came into the system, there was three of them waiting for me at the gate. Um, but it didn't really take much for me to destroy them. So, I'm going to go here and engage these other pirates. My ship's got this new little spatial distortion thing behind me. It's really neat. This is the first time I've gone into battle with four medium lasers. So I don't know how much they're going to drain my ba my. I don't know how much they're going to drain my battery. Uh, didn't seem to be too much. I'm able. To, I didn't have any problems killing them. So let's go. So, ooh, I don't want to kill him yet. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep popping recons. Cause they're easy. Might as well go for the easy battles first. My battery's holding up really well. Um. I haven't even had to turn on my shield booster yet because my new ship has a ton of shields. So I don't have to worry about that too much. My new ship is pretty maneuverable too, so I'm able to blast the pirates a lot quicker than I was on my old one. Shields are still doing good, and if they do start getting low, then I of course have a um, recharger on me, a shield booster, which will bring my shields back to life. Go over here and pick up this crate. This crate contains neutron pods. And then I also picked up some consumer goods and some food rations, more food rations. It's always good to have something to eat when you're in space. Let's go ahead and recharge my shield a little bit. And then when I go into battle with the eventual boss, uh, with my shields being too low, but I don't want to drain all my energy either. So here's the some more blazers, recons, and stingers. So far the... Battles haven't been too tough in this game. I mean, I've never gotten to a point where... I've never been into a point in this game yet where it looks like, oh no, I need to warp away or something. So... So yeah, combat is not too bad. Pop these last two ships. That should spawn... Yeah, that spawns Mr. Mr. Boss Bad Guy. There comes a time in everyone's life when those simple things become more and more important. And those troublesome worries seem to fade away. Rest easy, young pilot. I suspect your dreams will bring you peace. So a squadron of three pirate raiders. That just lets me know that. So I picked up some more credits. One credit was damaged. Got some free ore. Got some refined metal, which is good. Because I need refined metal for one of these recipes that I picked up while we were not talking. Um, got some more credits. So I'm going to go ahead, just to play it safe. Because I'm a safe type of guy. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the station in this sector, which is called the Fast Pie job site. Everybody likes Fast Pie. Uh oh, the pirates are awfully close to me. I wonder if they're going to engage me before I can get to the station. Looks like not. Looks like I'm going to be able to get past them. They're just flying in their circles like they love to do. Pirates love circles for some reason. I don't know why. But if they want to fly in circles, I'm not going to interrupt them. Just going to go back to the station and refuel. 
You can also buy drones. I haven't experimented with the drones yet. Uh, so I imagine they're like drones in that other game. In case you haven't noticed, this is pretty much a mini Eve. Uh, lots of different things have the same, you know, like we talked about the refining. You can refine these asteroids down into different um, components like this refines down into coppery cubics. And this refines down into salt crystals and aluminum shards. Um, so you can either sell or refine the minerals that you find. I'm going to go ahead and refine these. I'm going to see if I can have what I need for that one thing now. Yeah, for like my shield booster, um, I can increase my shield booster by, uh, and all I need is a refined metal and indust industrial parts. So let's see if we have those now. I did, so there's my refined metal, but I don't have any industrial parts. I'm pretty sure I sold them at one point, which was, in hindsight, not a good idea. Those industrial parts would have come in handy at the moment. Maybe I can buy them. Let's see if I can buy them at the market. Maybe I can get these. Uh, there they are right there. Industrial parts right there. A thousand space bucks. Uh, let's just buy one for the moment. Maybe that's all I need. So let's see what happens. And let's go back to the laboratory. Um, got my epic shield booster. And then I need my... What else was I needed? I need my industrial parts. Industrial parts and aluminum shards. A refined metal. Refined metal. I need more. So I need 10 industrial parts and 8 refined metal. So I don't have enough yet to do it. So I need a lot more industrial parts. I can buy them, but the refined metal, I need some more of that special ore that we just found. So I can't do it just yet, so we have to go back out and pop some more bad guys. I can buy targeting systems now, so let's go ahead and buy that. It makes me... I don't know what it does for me as far as... It says it increases your range of projectiles, but I don't know if these laser beams that I have on my ship count as projectiles. Because you can buy missiles and other types of guns, but... I don't know why I need them at this point. This is just one of those things that the that the min-maxers would understand if they go into the game and they analyze everything and put everything into spreadsheets. And I forgot to refuel. I'm going to see if I can turn around here. Eh, what the heck. It's a game. Let's see what happens. I think we have enough to get back, make it back to base. As long as we can pop this guy pretty quickly. Let's go. Alright, so we hit, we're hitting him. He's taking damage. Um... He's hitting me a little bit. I think we're not going to have any problems with him. I, I'm more concerned about getting back to base than I am about killing this officer. Kill the blazer. Pa pow Ooh, and I leveled up. Pa pow Come on, let's pa pow this guy. Where'd he go? Pa pow him. Let's pa pow him. We're getting low on fuel, dude. Come on, pa pow him. Pew! Pew! Got some ore. We've got an artifact, the most powerful targeting system available. This expensive work of art combines the latest technological advances, sensory signals, and pure power. A bunch of credits. So this time I get a, I did get a nice um, upgrade from the officer. Now it's time to see if we can get back into the station on fumes. Go ahead and turn everything off because I don't need these things running anymore. I think we have enough to get back to base. So we're not going to run out of base. It doesn't look like we're going to die in the cold, lonely depths of space. Here we go. Here we go. Are we going to make it? We're going to make it. Let's dock her up. Let's dock her. I need to ref refuel immediately. Bam. There. 210 space bucks. What did that ore get me? That ore makes silverite powder and calcium residue. And then this stuff makes bio. I'm going to go ahead and sell both of these for now because I don't need them. Alright, so. So I've cleared four sectors now. Let's see if there's any decent jobs. No. Oh, it says kill. Kill 19. So you can complete the jobs without even saying I'm going to take them, which is good. You don't have to go and say you're going to do it. You just. You're automatically doing them. So that's good. I don't see a progress bar. We'll transport food rations. 
Killed 12 recons, killed 38 recons, of course I've already done all that stuff. Um, so now we just need to go and, oh, let's look at kill jobs. Anything we kill? Yeah, kill recons. As long as I keep popping recons, I'll be moving along. So this sector is clear. So I'm not going to, I could sit here and try to upgrade my ship again, but I'm going to go ahead and head out to the next sector because I didn't really have any problems with these pirates. Like I said, I want to get through this first playthrough because I think, because I noticed over here, total tour, tours of duty. So I think you keep your character, I think you get to keep your character from game to game. We'll just have to find out. So let's head up to our next system. Where's our next system? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Corze is the next one because we've already cleared Nima. So Corze, off we go. I love my little spatial distortion trail. It looks, looks much neater than the fire. And this planet here we're near, I'm assuming this is Telhen. It's a big planet. Well, I guess all planets are big. I guess we're just really close to it at the moment. Here we go through warp space again. And there's some pirates waiting for us. Ooh, there's a Resner. It's a Trent Resner pirate. It's nine inch nails. Let's pop him. This is a tougher ship. He's not really doing too much damage to me, but he's doing enough damage to me that it makes me think maybe I need to pay attention. And I got 450 credits off. Ooh, there's another one. So let's start. We don't need to start. Oh, well, I guess my shields are fine. So now, okay, the crate blew up, which is always fun. Got 15 Quasar ore. Why is my... Okay, so... Turn all this off, so I'm in the new system now, which is Corzai. Is there even a planet in this system? Okay, I guess this is just some deep space place. Let's see what else. We still got pirates out there. We got some more of those resiners. More of those nine-inch nail pirates out there. What about our stations? We got two stations. We got Lesta. In, f in the Fui plant, or Fui plant. Got fewer asteroids. We still only have the same asteroids from the beginning. Ast Atomite and Gradion. And you notice that there's a lot fewer of them. So let's head off to the station, the closest station, and see what they got on sale in here. See what the local Walmart's got for us. Any indication from what we've seen at other stations? There should be even bigger ships here. Of course, different stations can have different things, so I might have to go over to the other stations and see what they have. So what do we got here? Let's check out the ships first. See in case they got a big Death Star or Imperial Battle Destroyer or Battlestar Galactica. Got some newer ships. We got a carrier, which can carry, obviously, drones. It carries more drones than the other ones. Largest ship produced in the Outer Rim. Its size and strength help it retain its reputation as one bad mofo. That's it. The carrier is one bad mofo. It's the most expensive ship that you can get, too. Of course, you got your, your battleship, and we got a tactical cruiser. Great ship for both mining and hunting. And then we have a transport liner. Ship is specifically designed to move large amounts of materials through space. So maybe you can play this game as a trader. Trader, T R A D E R, not as in trade tour, like in somebody who betrays other people. Quasar refines down into molecular water. That makes a lot of sense. And plastics. I'm going to go ahead and refine it just in case I find myself in dire needs of those things here soon. What do we got on sale in the market here? We still got our basic miner, a new miner. So we got some minor upgrades, but since we don't have any new asteroids, I don't see a point in it. We get a new engine, the fuel pod battle laser. It's not just any laser, it's a battle laser. Some heavy armor, some heavier shields, heavy capacitor, and assault battery. Oh, that's for... Okay, I still don't see any drones. Oh, here we go. Light repair drone. So we got a repair drone. I don't want one of those. I want uh, a better drone. We got an auto gun drone. The auto gun drone is a tiny, super fast ship with a small weapons payload. Unfortunately, their power systems are limited. Only capital class ships can deploy these little bastards. Language! So we got an auto gun drone and a support drone. Recharge your shield and repair hull damage. That's pretty neat. 
So that's a two for one. And we got some, oh, that's the stuff I just sold. So let's get some of these auto gun drones just so we can play with them. I can only buy, how many of them can I buy? I can buy six of them at the moment, and my ship can only carry, so let's buy all of them we can. I still don't know. Alright, so let's look at my ship again. Ship modulators. I still have no idea what these ship modulators are. Uh, what is this thing? Is this a modulator? No, it's not a modulator. It's a special artifact module, the most powerful targeting system available. This expensive work of art combines the latest technological advances and sincere signals with pure power. I already read that, haven't I? So that gives us a lock range of 24. I guess that means I get to shoot my guns further. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my cargo bay because I don't need it when I'm fighting pirates. And we're going to go out and we're going to check out the other system. I mean the other station. I'm going to go ahead and refuel because I don't want to forget again. Because I still got tons of money. I got 8,804. I am a little bit confused about these skill points. Okay, so I can train. Okay. Yeah, the skill points are kind of tricky to understand. I guess, because I thought it would be the same as your level. What level am I? I'm level 5, but I had 7 skill points. So maybe it gave you 2 at the beginning or something. You can use skills like this one makes me burn less fuel. This one helps my targeting system. But why can't I train these other levels here? I don't know. Hopefully the developer, maybe I'll have to go look for a website. Maybe it's on there. I'm going to go ahead and do this because I'm a beam weapon sort of dude. Level requirement 2. Got that. I have the level requirements. I don't know. Why is this so mean to me? Why don't you just tell me what I need? Jobs I'm not going to worry about right now. Ship. Just let you see everything. An overview of your ship. I'm carrying a bunch of crap. I need to start selling that stuff off or start using it. Alright, let's go pay a visit to that other station. See if they have anything. That's the faux wee plant. See if they have anything more interesting than this plant. Plant. Why am I calling them plants? Stations. Oh, because this is a plant. That's right. I got confused. So we're going to go over here to this plant, check it out. New kill job available at Sogan League, which is not in this system. Does it tell me what system it's in? Nope. You're just supposed to know that... Ooh, new pirate raiders. So there's more pirates coming into the system. We're going to have fun popping all of them in a minute. Is there different ships available at this one? The other one had a carrier. This got terror carrier. This has got everything. Well, this has got a mining escort, which is helps you mine faster. In case that's what you're into. In case you're into busting rocks. And who is it? I mean, we all love to bust rocks. So this station seems to have more mining stuff. And it's got a few um, things that can be used for the laboratory. Alright, so let's refuel again. I wish you could automatically refuel. Oh, you can. Turn automatically refuel on. So I guess now from now on, whenever I land, I'll automatically refuel. We'll have to test that. Let's go check out these pirates. Let's go pop them. Let's go after the closest ones, which are... If you click on it, it apparently resorts them. So I'm going to go after the stinger. Go ahead and get my weapons going. These pirates are far away, but my fuel is pretty much tapped off at the moment. Hopefully the auto refueling will take care of any more embarrassing incidents where I nearly run out of fuel. Heading towards them, heading towards them. When I get within 25 kilometers, I should start sh shooting now. Before I was shooting very far away. Yep, I'm shooting very close now. Got 35 iron coring. My cargo is getting full. Popped him. Damaged it though. Alright, let's go over here and kill up, kill this Resner. Have not taken any appreciable damage. Energy still holding strong. The Resner was a kind of a tougher ship, so we'll see what happens here. Can shoot further away. Pa pow pa pow pew pew. <coughs> ah -ha! He's dead. Let's kill this Calibus. Got 155 credits. Ooh, let's see if we can do our drones. Okay, I'm assuming my drones are out. I clicked on the drones and it says that they're all doing something. I don't know. I don't see. Oh, let's see. Is that a drone? 
I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This Calibus is a little bit harder, though. So now we'll kill the Blazer. I don't know if these ships are tougher or bigger or what, but they're but they're all dying, and I leveled up again. I got 40 plastite ore. Got got a nice little bonus from the space police for my hard work, and I'm still not in any danger of dying. My battery's holding out okay. This pirate raider's taking quite a few shots though. Ooh, I want to turn off that shield booster since I'm not getting hit. All right, here he goes. Oh no, Pop, the treasure chest was was worthless again. Uh-oh, the pirate boss is awfully close. I don't want to take him on until I refuel and rearm. So where's the stations? Lester's closest. So let's head on over there, turn all this junk off. Check out that carbo, carbo. Let's check out our carbo again. We got our auto gun drone. Oh, I guess I was supposed to click on this thing to deploy them. Oopsie! Well, maybe we'll need them when we take care of our thing. So let's see if we refueled. Yep, we automatic, automatically refueled. So we got all of our stuff. Let's see if we want to sign this junk we're carrying. I don't want to get too much stuff. Because you never know what's going to be needed later on. So sell all this junk. Sell all these consumer goods. Molecular water. Who the heck made that up? It's not just water, it's molecular water. That sounds like something you'd buy at GNC. Alright, so let's... Alright, so we're going out to try and fight the pirate boss if we can clear this system. If we do, that'll be half of our systems cleared. Where are you at, pirates? Ooh, there's a bunch of them this time. There's a whole bunch of them. This could be a bad fight. This could be the end of me. But my game's safe, so hopefully it won't be the end of me. Oh, we need to turn these on. And then we'll go ahead and get these puppies out. Got all my drones out. I don't know what that's going to do me any good or not. They're attacking my target. So the pirate's down, so let's take out these other ships. The Calibus is down. Stuff everywhere. We pop the recon because they're easy. I pop the blazer next. I don't know if he's easy or not. I really, I'm just clicking him in order, but actually he's further away. That might not have been a good idea. Um, picking up lots of junk. Who another congregate badge? Now I'm awesome. All right, looks like we're going to survive this battle. Pop these recons. Pop this blazer. I'm guessing that all my drones are still alive. They're still showing over there. My cargo bay is filling up with loot, which is always a good thing. So we got another Resner. Go ahead and pull on my shield just in case something else happens. Oh, great. The cargo crate was damaged. So, all right. So we leveled up again. We got some more ore. Got a little crate full of stuff. Let's pull our drones back in. Drones are all back and safe. And I've got a cargo hold full of loot. So I'm going to head back to the station. Let's go to Lester because he's closer. Sell off some stuff that I know that I don't need. We need to find a station that's got... Oh, hold on a minute. Stop, stop, stop. we got to... Let's go over and talk to this miner for a second. Maybe he's got some a new recipe for us. NPC miner, in case you didn't notice because... All right, this is a single-player game, right? Okay. So I don't know why it's telling me it's an NPC. Stay away from those pirate hideouts. Not only do they have weapons, but they also have quite a few officers inside. I guess that is where they train their squadron. Pirate hideout? This is the first I'm hearing of this. Are there any on our map? I don't see a pirate hideout on our map. Of course, it's a hideout, so it's probably not on the map. Where's our warp gate? So we've got two warp gates, so this might be something to think about. All right, back to Lester. Go back to normal galaxy map. So we see our normal... All right, let's zoom out. There goes the... There's a warp gate. There's a warp gate. Hmm, so where are these pirate hideouts? All right, so that's something to think about. Let's see what we got here that we can just sell. 
Let's get rid of some of these trade goods. I'm sure I'll need them later, but I don't know. Molecular water. We can buy regular water, the non-molecular water kind. So let's sell the consumer goods, sell all of them. It gives us some money. Industrial parts I still need. Salt crystals I don't need at the moment, and I know how I can get them. So we have four of those we could sell. Calciite residue seems to be pretty, pretty, um, pretty common, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Okay, so we've cleared another system, so we've cleared out four systems now. We've learned that there might be pirate hideouts. Uh, I've leveled up again. Does that mean I get to do anything at the university? Yeah, I've leveled up again, so I can train universe. So let's train fuel chemistry this time. I'm not going to buy a new ship yet. Because uh, we haven't gotten to the upper limits of what this ship can do. Now, I think that what we saw, things were kind of getting kind of tough. So maybe in the next system, things will be even tougher. Maybe I should upgrade my ship. Um, let's go back and look at the shipyard again. Because right now, my current ship has got... 552. Still have no idea what goes in ship modulators. We'll take a closer look at the market next time and see if there's anything. So we got a 552 ship. The next one up would be a 753 battle cruiser or a battleship, which is 663. So, so we need about 150k for our next bigger ship. Tactical cruiser. Slots are just rearranged, so we need about 150,000. Let me think on it, and so if I come back on the next video and I am in a new ship, you know what happened. So I'm going to close this one up because this one got kind of long. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you don't want to subscribe, I understand if you could just hit like. So either hit subscribe or hit like. That's all I ask for you. If you don't want to subscribe, you don't want to get spammed every time I add new videos because I do add videos a lot, but a lot of time they're not about ass trucks. So if you don't want to get spammed with video, announcements please just hit like on this video because the more likes it has the higher it appears in the search engines and the better off we'll be so this is um old man gamer signing off for now and i will talk to you soon